Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add a load more button to your Webflow CMS collections. Let's do it. So what I wanna to do today is I wanna build a button out that looks something like this. See this view more button right here? It's at the bottom of my CMS collection, which I have paginated to show only three items. And when I click it, I just get the next three to pop up automatically underneath. It's very smooth, it's very gentle. And I, I'm not actually loading a new page. It just pops up underneath, which is very nice. Now, the default in Webflow is not this. The default looks something more like this. So here's another CMS collection I have. I've paginated to show six items. And the second I paginate, I get this next button that shows up. And when I click the next button, an entirely new page loads with the next five items in my collection list. I don't like this because an entirely new page loads, it's not a great user experience for my user. Um, it takes time, it's slow, and it's kind of just ugly. So what we want to build today, like I said earlier, is we want to build this nice, gentle, load more button that doesn't load a brand new page. It just shows the next three or the next X amount of items on your list automatically under what is already there. So this is going to be super simple. Let's do it. All right. So to start off, I have a little playground here where I just have a nice little collection list here. Um, I have paginated it to show six items. I believe I have 10 in this list total, but I have paginated it to show six items only. And remember, the second I paginate, I get this, this little nice next button. Okay. So you can see if I don't have it paginated, I get all 10. And when I do, I just show five in this case, and we're going to bump it up to six. Okay. And there's that next button that will load the next four. Okay. So that's the first step. Now, our second step is we need to go to this website. It's going to be linked down below in the description. This is a website called FinSuite. These guys are awesome. I was playing with my website this past week and trying to make this load more button. I couldn't figure it out. It's not native to Webflow. These FinSuite guys are awesome. They have an entire directory, an entire library of these different attributes that you can add to the elements in your Webflow site to give them additional functionality that Webflow doesn't provide for you. So that's what we're gonna have to use here. All right, so let's scroll down. And the first step we need to do is we need to copy the script, this load script, this JavaScript that we have no idea how to write, but FinSuite's got it taken care of for us, luckily. So we're gonna copy the script. We're gonna come back to our page that we're on. We're gonna go to settings. This is the page that you have your CMS collection in. We're gonna go settings of that page. We're gonna come down to this inside head tag section, not the body. We wanna put it in the head. We'll just paste it, hit save. And that's step one. Now, step two is we need to come down here and we need to add something called an attribute. Now, an attribute is basically, it's an add-on that we can do inside of Webflow so that all of us that don't know how to code, we can basically just import other people's code with these attributes. So that's what we're gonna do. So in our case, we want to add some sort of attribute for our collection list. We want a collection list attribute. So. I'm gonna hit this drop down here. And I'm going to add this attribute to our collection list back on our Webflow page. So let me show you how to do this. It's very simple. I'm gonna copy the name right here, FS CMS load element. I'm gonna come back to Webflow. I'm gonna click our collection list, not our wrapper, not our item, our collection list. I'm gonna scroll down here on the settings tab that we have paginated. Remember, you have to have this paginated. It won't work if you haven't paginated your list. We're gonna come right down here to custom attributes. I'm gonna hit this plus. And I'm gonna paste in the name I just copied, this FS CMS load element. And then I'm gonna go grab the value, which they have listed right here as list. I'm gonna paste that in as well. And then I'm gonna hit save, okay. So that has set up this library, this directory that FinSuite has for us, for our list. Now we just need to tell it what exactly kind of load do we want to do. There's a bunch of different kinds they have here on, on this directory, which is awesome. These guys are great. In our case, we want to load under what we have. So just remember, we want to load under here just like this. 
right? So we just want to load under what's already there automatically. So we're going to come down to this load under option and we're going to add one more attribute. Again, we're going to add it right to our collection list, right under the one we just added. So I'm just going to hit plus again, paste in my name, and then paste in my value, load under, just like this. Hit save, and we should be good. So let's publish this and see if it's working. Okay, so we've published, we'll refresh now, and let's see if it worked. So again, we've paginated for six, and I hit the next button, and everything just pops up right underneath. Did you see that? I'll show you it again in case you missed it. It's beautiful. Instead of loading a brand new page and causing your client or your user to sit there and wait a couple seconds, bang, it just pops up automatically. It's amazing. So these FinSuite guys, I'm telling you, they're awesome. This would take, I don't know, how many years to learn how to code, and we just copy in a couple attributes, paste in some code into the head of our page, and boom, we're all set up. All right, so now I'm gonna show you one more expert tip here that you can use on your website if you want. So let's pretend that we don't want to load under. We don't want a button that we have to click to load our next six, 10, eight, whatever items in our CMS list. Let's say we just want an infinite scroll. So as you scroll through the CMS collection, the next items will appear as you reach the bottom. So just an infinite scroll. Let me show you how easy this is using this FinSuite directory of attributes. It's unbelievable. So we just used the, we just used the load under attribute. Now I'm just gonna come down here and use this infinite attribute right here. And it's the exact same thing. I'm gonna copy the name. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna get rid of my load under attribute we just used. We don't need any more. I'm going to leave the list element attribute because we're gonna need that. That's just kind of the, the groundwork. I'm gonna add my new infinite scroll attribute from the FinSuite directory. Literally just copying and pasting here. I'm gonna publish and we're gonna see what happens. Now, while we wait for this to publish, quick side note, you can style your load more button however you want. So I know the Webflow one is kind of ugly, but if you want a button that looks more like this, you can style it as you need. I'm not gonna go into that in this video, but know that you can style as you want and it won't affect anything. Okay, so we're published. Come back here and let's check out our infinite scroll. Let's see if it works. Okay, so you can see we're paginated still. Remember, you have to be paginated for this to work. We have six items appearing. I'm not gonna click this button. I'm just gonna scroll and our next item should appear on that infinite scroll. And there it is, folks. I hope you saw that. I'm going to do it one more time just so you can see it. I'm not hitting any button here. All these items are appearing on scroll. Just like that. So guys, that is it. We just used the FinSuite attribute directory to add a bunch of cool bells and whistles to our CMS collections inside of our Webflow website. Look, I'll be completely honest with you. I didn't know this existed like three days ago. This has saved my life. It's unbelievably easy. I'm going to link the FinSuite website down below because they're awesome. Go give them some love. Go follow them. Um, I'm sure they have videos on this, but I couldn't find any um, that were quick and easy, so I decided to make one myself. But go give them some love. They're going to be linked below. The actual directory, the attributes we use today will also be linked below. If you really enjoyed this video, please go down and smash that like button. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more content like this in the future, consider subscribing. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Anyways, thanks again for being here. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.